person's departure and the other person's succession to the position. In that interregnum, many, many things can go wrong which is going to be very, very difficult to put right. In order to minimize the catastrophe that looms, you're going to deploy someone. How do you know? When you have time to go and search all the files, you have that ready. And so your management succession chart would show who will succeed whom and whether or not they need training and if they need training, how long a training do they need? Those who are now ready for the succession. You have a formal management succession chart. There is also an informal management succession chart. Your formal management succession chart should bear some relation to the informal management succession chart. This is where the other aspect of the authority comes from. So that these people must be seen as capable and competent of performing the job as much as the workers in general see that. But Victor, regarding stabilizing the war, yeah. if they, for example, they are rotating every month, do yeah. you think the work is stable? Oh yes, oh yes. So, uh, right. for example, they have their permanent one, one guy he just like to yes. sit, okay, for yes. for a position for only three months, then he has to move oh, no. to another they don't, one. They don't, they don't spend three months. Mm -hmm. They don't spend three months hey, on no, the job. But he's, he's going to another position. But he doesn't spend three months on the other job. Uh -huh. He comes back to his job. So he goes, spend, Again. Oh, he goes okay, to spend okay, a week okay, or okay, two okay. and learn that job. Comes back to his own okay, position. okay. So he has, he has, he has, okay, he has permanent yes, position. Of course. Then he has to visit yes. another, for example, another yeah. uh, section or another uh, position. He stayed there for yeah. one or two weeks. Then he has to return back. Yes. Okay. We, we have a term for the one you're referring to, which is perpetetic mm -hmm. management. In which case, they are there only for a short period and move, and so it will take them two or three years to get back to that position, if at all. That is peripatetic management, and therefore that I don't recommend. But I recommend where they have time to move and learn their other jobs, mm -hmm. and then they get back to their own job, just in case they have to cover one day, and then you know that they're able to cover for a short period, not an extended period, but at least for a short period of time. Okay, so, I like to give a distinction between efficiency and effectiveness. So, let's look at efficiency in two perspectives. of which is a right way of doing things, that is, following established processes and procedures. So, this is, a, this is how we are going to do it. And so you probably refer to your secretaries or your peers as being efficient, because this is what you expect them to do, and they do as you expect them. That is. Second aspect will be, I use it, I like to use the word term, judicious. It's a judicious utilization of resources. So you're going to be as stringent as possible in the utilization of the resources that you have. And so, again, we can think of resources or the time. Time is included as the resources. You can look at financial resources and time can be costed, and time must be costed. Number two incorporates the notion of effective resource management. I mean, I think you must have heard a lot about people talking about uh, productivity gains. Mm -hmm. And so within the industrial relations arena, then, yeah, there's some credence for uh, productivity gains. 
so that if you give something, for example, if you award a salary increase, then you would expect more output from the team. Yes. So, it may be that, uh, and, and I'll give you an example here, wherein Royal Mail decided to honour the workers' request for wage improvement. Of course they did. But what they did then was to put them in teams. By putting them in teams, they then are able, responsible for an area. So you're looking at the delivery people. Mm -hmm. They're responsible for an area. At first, if someone is absent, they cover a particular patch. They have to get an agency worker. Agency worker costs probably three times as much as a normal employee. Now, with having given them an increase, they then put them in teams. The team is responsible for a complete area. Being responsible for a complete error, it means that they have to cover for their colleagues. So if a colleague is absent, then they do recover. If a colleague goes on holiday, then they, they do recover. No more agency. And therefore, efficiency comes into place. So this is the productivity gains. So the productivity there is where you give something and you get something higher in return. 